What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, we are going to debut the new DJ LeMayhew. This is a lot like his show's finest card from MLB The Show. 19 obviously has some good contact much better versus lefties and then versus righties pretty good defense as well got some positional versatility you can go to first or you can go to third we're going to play him at his natural position of second base we're also going to debut lucas giolito 120 105 four seam circle slur 12-6 Pretty decent control on all of his pitches. Pretty decent break on all of his pitches as well. The main thing is he doesn't throw very hard. He is kind of deceptive. He kind of short arms like when he throws. So it is a little bit difficult to pick up. I'm not sure how well he's going to do. This card is also based off of a card from MLB The Show 20, where he had basically this like one time moment. You can see it's a no hitter card. So he basically had a no hitter. They put out his card. It was like a tops now moment 99. So we're going to try to use him and we're gonna try to use dj lemayhu and we're gonna try to go for the dub the event was pretty fun to play what i learned from the event is i really like mike piazza and i also really like he's not in there right now but he should be in there i'm gonna see if i can put him in there for somebody that has some stuff i actually really like this nolan ryan too i i, I do i've been having fun using him in the event so he's he's been a lot of fun to use as well uh might have a lefty grove type of debut too because i figured out how to pitch well with lefty grove as well so that might be something that we have in the future not sure yet but it might be something we do here in the future anyways let's go ahead and get into this and see if we can get the dub we are i think 819 is what we are right now so hopefully uh we can get another win here all right, so we found our opponent for this one. He is 199 and 172. He's repping the Texas Longhorns in this game. Got the cap leading off for us. Gone back to the dot. I, I'm always switching up that PCI. Um, so I am using the dot today. Here comes a pitch from Cliff Lee. I'm using Jimmy Fox's swing again too. And the reason I have been is because I've been hitting a lot more home runs and he blasts that one for a home run to start us off. Let's go cap. What do you get us started? Uh, he's going to probably quit the game though. Oh, he's not. He went with a friendly quit. This is going to be good for DJ LeMayhew too to face a lefty because he's got a uh, more, you know, he's got the, I believe what the 125, 100. So this is a much better matchup for DJ. We go ahead and take that pitch. One on one count here on DJ the Mayhew. Nope, Two on one. Cliff Lee gets a sign. Here comes the pinch. It's going to be up. I found it a lot easier to hit since these sinkers have been nerfed. What do y'all think in the comment section? And DJ is going to get a walk in his first at bat. Good stuff there. Now Mike Trout in the three spot. Coming up, that's going to be a ball from Cliff Lee. He's not been effective so far. That's going to be low 2-2-0 two, two and oh on Mike Trout. 3-0, and oh, he is having a lot of trouble finding the strike zone here. We had the green light on, though. I don't know if that's going to get out. It might be either right of the wall or it's going to get out. Let's go, Mike Trout. Let's go, baby. 3 old started off. Is he going to quit? Yes. Okay, so fortunately, that didn't use any stamina for Lucas Giolito, so we can try this again. All right, so this opponent is 161 and 94. He picked a field of dreams field. We're going up against Felix Hernandez. I forgot to switch DJ LeMayhew into the second spot, so he's actually hitting eighth, and Mookie Betts is sitting in the second spot. So just putting that out there for posterity's sake. Hopefully we can knock King Felix around. The only time that I have faced him in race seasons was in the Mike Piazza debut and we did kind of uh, hit him pretty well. So hopefully we can continue that. So we got the cap up here. Jimmy Fox on a swing. He's about 5'10 in height. Uh, this park is a little bit, um, it really seems like you can pull the ball for home runs in this park to left and right field. And we're not gonna go with the friendly quit. Um, but dead center kind of dies out there. 0-2 count on the cap here. Felix gets the sign and the pitch on 0-2 is right in there and the cap is just going to blast that to right field. So that's what I mean. It feels much easier to hit it for home runs to uh, like left and right field. That's a good start again. And now Mookie Betts is up. 
one and zero count here. Felix gets the sign from the catcher. He's taking his time. Here's the pitch. And a little bit early on that one. What is he doing? <laughs> I'm not sure what he was doing there. Was taking his time before throwing that over to first. I was like, did this controller lose battery? What happened? Anyways, Mike Trout stepping into the three spot. Never thought a live series card would be still in my lineup in the three spot all the way into august but here we are with my trout oh and two a little over aggressive on some of these swings definitely over aggressive he's trying to get us to swing outside of the zone oh and two the take right there i really wanted to swing at that but i figured it had to be a ball one and two. Ooh, that actually had some nasty movement see sometimes those sinkers still break they break a lot more up and down than they do side to side now so i feel like that's really the main difference i really just broke like it really broke like um uh, up and down chipper though down the left field line for a base hit really a double if i could uh, provide some good commentary <clears throat> double there for chipper piazza up now it's gonna get by us oh and one And Piazza just making the catch is Vlad Guerrero Jr. That saves a run. We're at one to zero as we go into the debut here for Lucas Giolito. See how this fastball is working. You can see kind of like he kind of like short short arms it, so he's a little bit deceptive. Uh, let's try this uh, slider on the outside. If we can dot that up. Try this circle change. Get the strike there. So try a 12 6 below the zone. See if we can get him to chase. I feel like he, he hasn't even swung the bat yet. Two and two. Kind of trying to probably see what we're going to do. Uh, he's going to blast that one. This is like what I said. It just kind of dies out there in center field. Just kind of slow on the left stick. Coast into it. Mike Trout makes the catch. I don't, he's uh, doing that. He was all over that pitch too. Get that fastball by him there. Let's go ahead and go to the slider on the outside. Couple of dots right there. Now let's go circle change. See if we can get him to swing over the top of this. It's a good take. Try for the curveball below the zone. Not biting on that. Let's try a slider again on the outside corner. And he really put a good swing on that, honestly. Been blasting the ball on the couple of swings that he's had. He was late on that, but it still went flying for some reason. I'm going to go up and in with the fastball. I misses by a centimeter, three and two. We're going to go front side slider. And that's going to retire him because that's a tough pitch right there. Let's go Lucas Giolito. All right, up and in the fastball to Chipper. He's going to bounce that back up the middle for a base hit. So he's got his first base runner of the game. Vlad Jr. stepping up. Let's try that front side slider again. He's going to let that go for strike one. 0-2 oh, count on Vlad. I think I'm just going to tackle the four-seam fastball because he's been taking 0-2 oh, a lot. And he's way behind on that. And so we're going to get the strike out there. Now, Mr. Big Hits, Eddie Murray stepping up. It feels like he only has 11 home runs, but it feels like he's got 5,000. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he can do something here. Low and inside change up to start it off for King Felix. Up and away, put a pretty good swing on that, but we are just late on it. If we were a little bit uh, earlier, we would have crushed that. Went up with the changeup, and we were very late on it. I can't believe he threw that good of a pitch. I was almost in take mode myself there, 0 and 2, just thinking that he was going to throw something outside the zone, but he chose to go back into the zone. There it is. Good take there on the, on the slurve. 1 and 2 count. 
That's going to be low two and two count. Felix with the pitch. I said side three and two, Mr. Big Hits. May he draw a walk here? No, I missed it. Oh, it's a very hittable sinker and I just straight up missed it. Vlad almost pitching wedges a base hit out into left field on that cutter. Um, if that gets through for a base hit of any kind, I was just so lucky. It's going to be a base hit. Vlad with his speed gets down there. Now, DJ LeMayhew, he's at bat. Not as good versus righties. You can see he doesn't have the power anymore. His main circle is in the middle. So more of a contact hitter. 0-2 here. Uh, that was too close to take in that situation. So DJ is going to ground into a double play. All right, now his cap is up. The GOAT is what it says. Gonna go after him with the slider. A little bit early on that. Let's go high and inside with the fastball. It's going to be a dot. Now let's go circle change below the zone. Which he's been taking a lot, but... I thought he might go after that one because he took a fastball low and in. Good block by Piazza. Get another strikeout with Giolito. 125 for Tim Anderson so far for him. Really like that 12-0 basket a lot. I do not have that. I went 11-0 one time. Um... Whenever the new BR program tries or starts up again, I'll probably try for it again. But I went 11 and 0 and then choked, so I, I do not have the uh, the 12 and 0. That's one of the few things in this game. With as much as I play that, I just don't have uh, in MLB the Show 21. Let's go up and in with the fastball with uh, Giolito. Dot for the strikeout. So he's doing pretty well. I feel like he's got a lot of strikeouts on. I don't feel like this is like a bad player or anything like that. Let's start off with the low and inside slider. That's going to be blasted, but Mr. Big Hits, he brings his glove with him to work. That's going to be an out. All right, so Lucas Giolito is going to get his first at bat. Don't really expect too much of anything right here. It's going to try to make a play, just try to put the ball in play, try to work the count. Try to get a couple pitches uh, over for him. So that's a good start right there. Just taking that uh, taking that sinker. I have no idea what uh, Giolito, if he has like any hitting stats whatsoever. 2-0, way to work the count. That's, that's a good start. I mean, we'll take that every single time. All right, he's going to dot with the cutter. 2-1. 2-2. Got four pitches out of him so far. Put a decent swing on it, but Acuna is going to have way more than enough speed to go get that thing to retire us there. All right, so the Caps done our main damage here, a home run in his first at bat. Maybe he can get another one for us. Was I out in front of that? Yeah, I was. I was out in front of that sinker. Good at bat there one, so far, one on one. Mm, almost shot that down the line. I wasn't that bad of a swing. That's what we were trying to do with that pitch. One and two. And that's going to be a basic good swing. I mean, that changeup was low in his side. Still got good timing on it. Knocked it through the hole for a base hit. Now Mookie Betts is up. They're going to say I went on that. Uh, I was just trying to check my swing on that cutter. So I'm 0-2 by chasing a couple pitches. Not good. There we go. Way to lay off. That's just a good pitch right there. Jan me got in under my hands and it's going to go for a base hit. I don't know why we're running though. It's just lagging a little bit. I told him to stay a second. I'm not really sure. That was a really weird play. Because what happened was I thought that the CPU wouldn't be running because he would make that catch. 
So I hit like uh, L1 to send him and then I told him to stay a second. I selected him and hit triangle, but he rounded the base too much. A little bit laggy because I'm on the road, but we're gonna pick up this base at second anyways. That bounces away from him, from uh, Schwarber there. Now it's just up to Mike Trout. to base hit gives us a two run lead. He's not gonna give in though. He's not giving me very many pitches to hit like that. Like that's, I'm gonna let, let that go three and two. Let's see what he does three and two. That's just a nasty pitch. Sinker with some bite and trying to make contact. Couldn't. We got five hits to his one though so far. Now he's coming up with Ronald Acuna Jr. We're gonna start him off with a slider on the outside. He's gonna swing and miss at that. Let's go with a circle change below the zone. See if we can get him to swing over the top. He does. And now let's go to a front side slider. And see if we can just drop this in there for strike three. That was not a good pitch. We missed our spot. So it ended up being a slider right in the middle on 0-2, which is tough because we are way ahead in the count. Uh, he gets a little bit of life with that. I would expect a bunt here. Um, he might be out a second. Actually, he gets there. Cunha with the speed. So he's probably going to be able to get third base here on the bunt because I'm just going to take the out. There's no real choice in that situation. Just go ahead and take the out. So he's been able to make it to third base. Now he's got Trey Turner who he blasted one to the wall with. So we got to be careful here. Good take. I like that take quite a bit. Not over anxious. Let's go low and away at the fastball. This is going to be like one of the tougher outs of the inning. Let's go with the below the zone change up. Got him to swing through it. I think I'm going to play to that again and see if we can get him on that again. He says, no, he's not going after that. Um, I'm gonna try to bust some high inside of the fastball. And we got him basically to hit that like that. Let's go ahead and fire that thing home. Nicely done there. Now he's got to get out Mike Trout with Giolito here. Let's go to the slider on the outside. Good take. I'm gonna go to the circle change below the zone. Nothing there either. So he's really no. He knows that this is a situation where he's got to get this run in. Um, I'm gonna try to dot this slider again. I'm not sure why we haven't been able to put that in the zone. Oh, we got away with that. He thought it was a fastball. That was a hung pitch in the middle. All right, we're gonna try to circle on the dot. That's gonna be foul. Two and two. I'm gonna go curveball way below the zone. Nothing there. I really don't want to give him anything too good here, at all. Um, I think I'm gonna go slider like way outside. Yes, he thought we might be going in the zone on three and two. We were just like, nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> not to Mike Trout, uh, might as well just see if we can get him a chase and we did. That was a big chase right there. All right, let's see if we can get something going here on offense. Chipper Jones with his second hit. I think that's getting down. I don't think Trout's getting that. He's gonna miss that. Uh, we're gonna be able to get to two on a double. Good start, good start, good start. All right, now we just gotta make a make something happen here we got piazza who was robbed in the first inning by guerrero and we hit it over to guerrero again but we're gonna get the runner over and uh that'll get the job done now it's big mr big hits who else would you want up with the strikeout incredible mr big hits ready to roll right here that's a good dot on a sinker i mean that's pretty tough right there Good take, good take, good take. Waiting to see if we can just get anything that we can put in play. Okay, one and two. Going with a lot of sinkers in. Good take, two and two. Everything's been in so far. <sighs> he had us on that changeup, but we made contact somehow. Just inside, three and two. See what he does here. He gives in. He should not have given in. And Mr. Big Hits does what he does. He just blasts that into the gap for a double. So I love having him on the team. He just gives the job done. And he stands on second base, giving us another opportunity to score. A sinker got in on my hands. Acuna is so fast, though, that that's an out. Tracks that thing down and makes the play. All right, big chance for DJ here. Big chance. Sinker on the inside is giving me problems low. 
and they called that a strike. That is a dot. He left it in the middle, but it's going to be off of Anderson's glove. Just stay at first or stay at third. And DJ is not fast enough to make it down the line. So unfortunately, DJ is going to be out on that one. All right, into the fourth so far with Giolito. He's only giving up one hit. He's starting to see him more, though. It's going to get more difficult as we go through the lineup for the second time. Inside with the strike. Let's go up and in. See if we can get it past him. A couple of dots right there. I need him to swing over the top of this slider real bad. That's a good take. Um, I'm going to put a circle change on the outside part of the plate. Nothing. All right, low and inside fastball. Found that off. I wish he would have just put that in play. Um, I'm going to step off because I really don't know what to throw. I selected a fastball. I think I'm going to throw a curveball like low and in. All right. Well, it's stuck, it's stuck in the middle, and so he's going to get a double off of that. So we didn't hit our spot. He put a pretty good swing on it. Just tried a different pitch. Um, it just didn't work out that time. Put a perfect swing on it. Trying this slider on the outside. Make sure we just get this play at one. There we go. That works. Way to get the out. Right, it's got his cap up there. Try a backdoor uh, slider. Try an inside slider. Let's take it on both of those. Uh, try a circle change low and in. All right, finally we got him to chase there. Try a curveball for him to chase. Nothing. It's a point where it's getting really tough. Like I just feel like at this point we were able to be effective for a couple innings with Giolito, but it's just getting tougher the more pitches that he sees. Um, I'm gonna try a slider on the outside. All right, we got the out. That's what counts. Eddie with the play. You'll love to see it. Now he's got to get Tim Anderson. Hiding inside with the heat. He's late on that. Let's start with the slider or go to the slider. Wow, we got two strikes easily. I think he's going to look at this fastball low and in. We did not hit our spot, but he was late on it. And so we're going to get the out. So we navigate again through another inning. And we just, we just really want to put some distance here because if we put some distance, we can keep going with Giolito. Pretty good job through four innings. Shut this guy down. who has got a 12 and 0. It's not bad on Hall of Fame. I mean, it's, it's better than what I expected. Kind of like with his pitches that he has, just better than I expected. He's stranded two runners at third base. So that's always a, a good thing. But, you know, hopefully he can... Uh, Hopefully he can keep it up. He has zero hitting stats, I saw. Or he has like one. Is he going to put a base hit? Look at that. One contact, zero power, zero vision. He gets a base hit up the middle. Nicely done, Giolito. All right, Caps two for two. He's been on fire in this game so far. I'm going to take that on the outside, 1-0. Oh. I'm going to take that as well, 2-0. Oh. Good at bat. I like that. I like laying out pitches that are close to dots. And put a good charge into that, but Trout is going to make the play. I mean, that's a good swing. Nothing you can do on that one. Um, just keep that up. We'll be okay. Mookie Betts. Yeah, he's starting to Mookie Betts with the same pitch. It's been a cutter away like every single time. So for some reason, he really does not want to go inside to Mookie Betts. I'm not really sure why that is. <laughs> we have not put that good of a swing on any pitch really on the inside to be honest That one kind of hung but we couldn't take advantage one and two here Fighting here one and two still That was a good swing though that time we did put a good swing on that sinker So we got we got two people on here for Mike Trout 
Can we get a blast? Oof. That's going to be a double freaking play. Oh, he's got to be breathing a sigh of relief to get a double play on that. Got to keep pitching here. Starting uh, Sorber off with a change up low. Need that thing but low to zone. Well, I didn't swing at that. Actually, I'm not because we ended up hitting our spot. So I take that back. Getting real selective. Good takes on both of those. I'm going up and in with the fastball. Got away with the change up there. I mean, we really got away with that one. See if we can get him a chase on the inside, the slider. That's a really good take. I'm just gonna go to the fastball low and in. Gotta hit this for a strike. I just caught enough of the zone. Caught enough of the zone to get him looking. Start with the slider on the outside. That's a good pitch. We've been missing that a couple times. Like he's been able to get like one or no count. So it's nice to have that hit. Same with that. See if we can get him to swing over the top of the circle change. It's going to lay off that. I'm going to go low and inside with the fastball. And he's going to stare at that. Another strikeout for Giolito. Now Felix Hernandez is up. Start him off with the slider away. Need that thing in the zone. Now let's go. Now his controller has been disconnected. So I thought it might have happened with Chipper Jones earlier, but now it actually officially has. All right, let's go up and in. Left that one in the middle. See if we can get this curveball dotted. Our curveball confidence is really low. We haven't able to. Oh, that's a killer hit, man. I mean, that's why we probably shouldn't have screwed around that much with that. Cause now he's got he turned over the lineup on a. Uh, he's hitting that curveball really well though. The big take. Now he had to deal with Trey Turner. All right, let's go up and away. With the fastball. Two of one. He's getting really selective, which means he's going to be more late on the ball. We go circle change below the zone, though. Got him to swing and miss on. That's a beautiful thing right there. Nice job, Giolito. We get through five. We, I just really want to get him some run support. We've got nine hits, but we only have two runs. So we just got to uh, figure out how to get some clutch hit hit, clutch hits here. Chipper Jones, I might be gone. I mean, that's a perfect swing, honestly. That's a perfect swing. Get on out of here. Let's go, Chipper. Chipper's had a big game. Three hits. Knocks that one out for a home run. Nicely done. Now Piazza's up. Good job, man. That was big. Just give us some run support. Our pitching has been pretty dang perfect so far. And that was a bad swing on that. It's really like more like a check swing and that thing just broke late and uh, got me good there. All right, big hits, Eddie. 5,000 home runs, even though it says 11. 3-0 game. Ah, I thought I had it. I thought I had it back up the middle for a base hit. Being kind of aggressive here, getting our swings in. All right, Vlad, keep this thing going. Keep this thing going here. And we're going to get out on that sinker again. Just uh, that was a good swing on it. It just went a little bit lower <laughs> than we needed to. So three runs, 10 hits. Doing pretty good. Charles got two strikeouts versus Giolito so far. I'm going to start him off with a change up below the zone. See if we can get a chase for 0-1. Nothing. Try this uh, slider on the outside. Good pitch. I'm late on that. Let's go middle in. Fastball on the black. He's late on that. The one pitch he's hit well is that curveball. We got to try this circle change and hopefully get a chase on it. It's going to take that. So we're going to go back inside with the low and inside fastball. 
when he takes that. And it's going to be effective at 94 for another strikeout for Lucas Giolito. All right, let's go inside. Chipper Jones, see if we can get... He doesn't ch chase much on that slider on the inside. It's been a very tough pitch for me to, uh, to get across and to have him chase on it. Fastball just dotted at 95. Let's go up and in with the fastball. Dotted again. Go circle change below the zone. Nothing. Is he just going to stare at another fastball? He puts a good swing on that. We might be able to go get that with Trout if we can get there. Just can't quite get there, but it stays in the park. He's going to have an inside the park home run on that, actually. So, unfortunately, he gets a home, inside the park home run. Um, put a good swing on it with Jones. Not much we can do. All right, so Giolito, you know, it's third time through. Up the middle, Cap's going to get that, though. Nice range, got time. Good play right there for the second out. Now we got to face his cap, 331 with 46 home runs, which is uh, pretty ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and throw this slider low and in. We got him to chase. That ended up being like in a better spot than we wanted it to be. Change up. He did go, but they're not going to say that he went. I really feel like he did go, but it is what it is. There we go. One and two. He's getting a little over anxious. Maybe after that chipper home run, he's like, I got to swing the bat. Let's see if we can get him a chase on this slider on the inside. Yes, we did. Nice job, Lucas. I mean, if that's it for him on the day, because we can pro we're can probably we probably going to pinch hit at this point. What a good, uh, what a good performance from him. Um, he did a decent job. I mean... I got, that's all, I mean, to get through six like he did, he gave up that one inside the park home run. That's pretty good. I think at this point, we're just like, you know, three times through, it's time to go to an another, uh, another player, especially if we can get some insurance runs here in the seventh. All right, DJ's 0 for 2, and he's basically had a walk in that first game. So, looking to get anything here, I mean, just a base hit, just something uh, to get things going. I think he's going to stay apparently. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. He pauses a lot more than I do. I just have paused to like go to my bullpen the one time. So not really sure what he's doing. Oh, I thought I hit that out. I thought I hit that out, but we missed it by like an inch. So unfortunately we didn't. Uh, Trout's going to make the play and left. All right. So at this point we're going to <laughs> Lucas even had a single in this game. Uh, we're going to go to Larry Walker, who is a beast off the bench. This is actually a very dangerous spot for King Felix. He's got to be real careful right here. Good take. Good take. Let's see if we can get a pitch to drive. That was kind of a pitch to drive. I was kind of on that. Kind of like more looking for like a change up, I guess. Two and one. Ah, uh, that was the one. That was a little bit late. I just missed it. Two and two. Good take. Good take. Three and two. I thought he might be coming after us on three and two because that's been his pattern. He hasn't switched it up. Into the gap for Larry Walker. Could just hold it second. Nicely done there. Gets himself on second with a cap up. Ooh, I'm so glad we got lucky there because I should have been out on that. Just needlessly over aggressive. Now we're 0 2. I should have smashed that pitch too. Good fight. Hmm. We're not putting good swings on that pitch right now. He needs to keep attacking with it. Let's see what he does. Oh my God. I got a good jump with Larry Walker to get over there. He probably should have gone and tagged Larry Walker, but it is what it is. He wanted to make sure he got the out. 
All right. Oh, well, now he's throwing this cutter over to the right side a lot of times here. That's what I was looking for. That's kind of what we got to that slurve. All right, 0 and 2. Great hit. Oh my God, Mookie Bash. That was huge, man. Oh, that was big. A perfect, perfect on a pitch outside the, the zone, below the zone. That's a big time swing right there. All right, 0 and 1. Pretty good swing right there too, honestly. And that had a chance, has a chance to go out. Off the wall, maybe. Oh, so the ball kind of dies out in center field here. Good swing from Mike Trout, though. Four to one. All right, he's got Tim Anderson. He's got... I'm going to just go to... Um, I kind of feel like going to Gregory Soto, but he's much... Just a deal with Schwarber. But I think we got to go Alex Reyes just because he's got two righties. So uh, hopefully we can get this done. We're kind of using Reyes a little bit early, but we want to just get through this inning. This is a very, very important inning to get through. Almost more than the next two. So we've got to, we've got to hold it down here. wonder if he's going to go to his bench, anything like that. Um, we pretty much have like a fresh bullpen though for the most part. I think at least. I'm not sure. Sorry for that 100 mile an hour sinker. Another hundred, pretty much 98. Let's go slider below the zone. Just stares at that. Uh, went with the fastball. Is that going to be catchable? Try to get to the back of the baseball. He did not even go over it. Uh, let's go inside with the sinker. Good take. He loves hitting curveballs, but we're going way below the zone. I'd almost hit. Going up and in with the sinker. Oh, that was nasty. I'm glad he swung at that because it was a ball. All right, slider on the inside. Catches the zone. Let's go uh, change up below the zone. A take. Let's go fastball right here. And now let's go. Uh, let's go back to that change up. Okay, two and two. We go back to the fastball. Just taking like too much, you know. All right, sinker on the inside. That's nasty. Sinker on the inside again. Uh, stayed in the middle, but it's gonna get the job done. I think that's gonna be really close. Oh baby, come on now. We gotta charge that now. Make that play. <laughs> we can't let him be getting on with that. That's tough right there. All right, now he's got Ortiz. All right, we got fortunate there, DJ. That's a nice play though, man. Way to go, get that, get through that inning. Jones is up with a double, a double, and a solo home run as he goes to Alex Reyes himself. Uh, so hopefully uh, Jones can keep it up. We got a new pitcher to deal with here. And I thought I went yard on that off the zone. Uh, if that was any more closer to the zone, we would have hit that out for a home run. Uh, pretty good swing there from Chipper. All right, Piazza. He could do some damage right here, I feel like. Let's see what it pitches he throws us. All right, good take. That's a great take, 0 and 0. Stay off that. That's the pitch we're looking for is his slider. And Piazza is going to put it up the middle for a base hit. Who's up now? Big hits, all oh, big hits. Now he loves to throw these sinkers on the inside of big hits. That's what he did last time, like every single pitch it felt like. Oh man, he went up and away on that. Oh and two. Uh, that's gonna be foul. Oh and two. I was looking for the inside sinker. I mean, we put a good swing on it. That's very lucky that uh, we just missed it. I mean, that, that sort of comes down to. All right, Black, keep this thing rolling. Probably stay off that sinker inside. Look for that slider. Yeah, stay off that pitch. Wait for him to throw that slider. 2-0. I just stayed straight and we missed it. Oh, that was a dot. Two and two. He's not really going to the slider. 
Oh man, stayed up. Uh, gets us there. All right, let's see if we can navigate through here. Couple of pitches to go all too fast. I'm just going right back to it. Oh, that's nasty. All right, let's go low on his side. Let me miss on that again. Right, he's gonna hit that on the ground, make this play cap. There we go. Quick two outs there, feels good. Now his Chipper Jones has been going crazy as well. Just throwing strikes here. Not really messing around. Missed by an inch. He's going right after him. I hope he just stares at this. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, it's taking too many pitches, in my opinion. He just needs to go after it early. But it is what it is. All right, DJ, get on base here. It'd be really nice to push this to six to one. Just two more runs, one and two. I think we got to sit on that high inside heat. <laughs> I did, but it was off the plate. Now it's a terrible swing. All right, David Ortiz gets his shot here. I think my bullpen, I'm going to get up uh, Kenley Jansen if I have him. All right. Nice. Oh, David Ortiz, bro. That was a weird home run. It hit off the top of the fence and bounced out. I've never really seen something like that, but 111 off the bat. That ball was crushed. Ball was just a laser hit there. And we're going to ground out to the right side with the cap. Mookie Best has had like a really, really productive game. Three singles in that, that RBI just to give us a little bit of breathing room. And he got me again on that slider on the outside. Not going to beat that out. But we got it to five to one on Ortiz's uh, home run. Now he's got to finish this thing off. And we're going to hand the ball to uh, Kenley Jansen to try to do so. So he's got Vlad, uh, Vlad Jr. up now. Try the sinker on the inside. It's a good take. It's a good take. Uh, let's go cutter on the outside. It's another good take. He's very selective, but um, sometimes you just gotta make some plays. Like I don't know how else to explain it. Like you want to be, you want to be uh, just seeing if you see the ball well. Two and two. We're going back on the inside because he's waiting back so long. Fouled that thing off very late. And there's Eddie to make that play. So David Ortiz has contributed with his bat off the bench. It's like the ideal spot for him. And then Eddie's been making some plays over there at first. Working together as a team to try to get the dub. One on one here and go inside. He's chased with his cap more than any other player, I feel like, in this one. Ooh, that was a dangerous pitch. I did not go where we wanted to go. That one did, though. Mm. Two and two. Let's try him. Let's dot him with this cutter loan in. Bites that off. It was perfect, but it didn't really go where it was supposed to go. I had a perfect release, and I just did not go where it was supposed to go. It's going to stare at the sinker. All right, one more. We'll finish this thing off. Start with the cutter. It's on Tim Anderson. The sinker. And he's going to pop that up to the cap here, who is going to make the play. And that's going to retire the side. GG's Lucas Giolito pitched really well. I wouldn't necessarily like recommend him for your rotation or anything, but uh, he did pitch pretty well. I mean, couple times through the lineup he made some like I feel like he got some uh, clutch pitches in this one too where he just like stymied them from getting another run by stranding the runner on third base but he did, he did his job I mean he went six innings uh, DJ would have been nicer to see him versus the left-handed pitcher I think we would have uh, seen more opportunity for him but there's kind of a look at uh, both cards that was one of the funnier home runs I've seen 
anyways thank you so much for watching my content i appreciate it um uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new hit the like button if you made it this far as well i appreciate that and check out one of the videos at the end of this video thank you so much for watching again and have a great day